Are you serious? Are you serious? Well, we know that Bilderberg is an integral part of what's known as the formation of the New World Order. I mean, we're talking Bilderberg Group or the Bohemian Grove, these secret societies, and even some of these governmental structures like the Council on Foreign Relations or the Trilateral Commission. But when you talk about any of these groups, you have to mention the man, David Rockefeller. David Rockefeller, I think, is probably one of the form founders of the New World Order. I actually have... David Rockefeller's memoirs. It's a book that uh, was donated to me and actually was signed by David Rockefeller himself, his own personal signature. But in this memoir, David Rockefeller begins to talk about the formation of a new world order. And uh, let me read a paragraph of this. According to his memoirs, on page 405, he wrote, For more than a century... Ideological extremists at either end of the political spectrum have seized upon well-publicized incidents such as my encounter with Fidel Castro to attack the Rockefeller family uh, for the inordinate influence they claim we wield over the American political and economic institutions. Some even believe we are part of a secret cabal working against the best interests of the United States, characterizing my family and me as internationalists and of conspiring with, with others around the world to build a more integrated global political and economic structure, a one world, if you will. And if that's the charge, I stand guilty and I'm proud of it. The words of David Rockefeller. He was a part of a worldwide new world order, a Kabbalist who wanted to not only hijack the American democracy, but help in the formation of the beast, of the new world order, the one world government, or the biblical beast in the Bible in Revelation 13 that talks about the dragon, the beast with seven heads and ten horns, and that little horn that rises up among them, the Antichrist. Well, David Rockefeller uh, had a lot of connections with a lot of people. And just recently, I got my hands on a declassified phone conversation between David Rockefeller and one of the more influential New World Order participants, a conversation that took place back in 1972. And their conversation was the fact they were going to meet with each other at the upcoming Bilderberg Group meetings, but they were also working on how to involve the Chinese. I can't go any further because it's just too sensitive information to be revealed, but if you go to my Patreon channel, I will share that entire phone conversation with you and reveal to you who was on the other end of the call? Is there such a thing as a cabal? Is there such a thing as a new world order? George Washington said, be very careful. The one thing he feared the most for our great nation, and for the world for that matter, was a formation of the power of the Illuminati. Give your life to Jesus Christ. Yep, we're in the last days. Check out that video at Patreon, and thank you for being a member of my Patreon channel. Don't miss tonight's live broadcast. Starts at 10 o'clock Eastern. Powerful Mike from around the world will be with us. We have an asteroid going to skim by the Earth tonight, and we're going to be talking about the effects of these asteroids, meteorites, the volcano that erupted in Hawaii and the one that just erupted again and how things are starting to take place. The heavens are shaking. We're in the last days. Planet X, Nibiru. Let's discuss the wormwood effect of the five waves of energy.